But anyway, in Psalm 146, if you have your Bibles with you, uh, let me just read from verse 1 hanggang verse 10. The Bible says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God, while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he, had, uh, happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth uh, the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He, rel uh, he relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. So, uh, ang title po ng ating lesson uh, this morning is uh, Praise Ye the Lord. Okay? Uh, and I believe that this is a uh, uh, very important statement that uh, we need to understand not only every Sunday, but uh, in every aspect of our being, especially po in our everyday life. Si mga kapatid, this is a uh, call to action na kailangan po nating uh, uh, intindihin sa bawat uh, isa. At we need to praise the Lord. Okay? So let's take a look at first of all, the challenge to praise. In verse 1 and verse, and verse 2, once again, if you have your Bibles, uh, please open to verse 1 and verse 2 ng uh, Psalm 146. Uh, ang sabi ng psalmist, Praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. So again mga kapatid, that is a call to praise. Now, it doesn't say kung ano yung situation na pinagdaraanan ng psalmist when he wrote this psalm or this song. Uh, it doesn't tell us what kind of uh, uh, life this person had. But the thing here is mga kapatid, by application, I think we will all agree, and I think that, you know, most of us will uh, say amen when I say that in every aspect of our life, whether it be a good situation or whether it be nandun tayo sa uh, situation na siguro ayaw natin, might be a difficult situation, um, whatever that is, we should continually praise the Lord, Okay? Because praising God and worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ, worshiping God, is uh, not based on our situation. Uh, kailangan po nating intindihin mga kapatid na dumadaan man po tayo sa hirap, matinding problema, or dumadaan man po tayo sa magandang uh, sitwasyon ng buhay, we experience the blessings of God. Uh, still, God deserves all the praise in the world. So, uh, wag po natin kakalimutan mga kapatid that in every aspect of our life, in every situation na pagdaraanan natin sa buhay, God deserves all the praise. Okay? When you are in the uh, uh, highlight of your life, when you are in the top of your career probably, God deserves all the praise. And when you are going through the wilderness of life, when you are going through the difficulties of life, scarcity of resources, or difficulty in relationships, still God deserves all the praise. So that is a call to praise that uh, we need to consider every day in our life. Okay? Oftentimes, kasi ginagawa natin is that we just uh, look at our uh, situation and we look at uh, things in our perspective and akala natin is that because we're going through problems, God no longer deserves the praise. You know, it doesn't work that way, mga kapatid. Uh, we should look at things uh, not only based in our perspective, but also in the perspective of others. Kasi nga, minsan, di ba, ang tingin natin sa sarili natin, tayo yung nahihirapan, tayo lang yung dumaraan sa problema. 
But when others look at us, they look at us as a blessing that in spite of the problems, we still continue. So, uh, I believe mga kapatid that uh, this call to praise na binigay sa atin ng psalmist that we should praise the Lord uh, in every aspect of our life. Uh, because praising God, understand this, look at the commitment to praise nung ating psalmist, nung, nung uh, sinulat niya ito. Uh, in verse 2, he says in, you know, in very good detail, hindi naman siguro very good detail, but uh, in, uh, uh, with great commitment, he says, While I live, will I praise the Lord? So, there is no boundaries uh, sa kanyang uh, pagbibigay kalwalhatian sa Panginoon. It is an earthly commitment. Habang buhay ako, I will praise the Lord. Yun yung sabi ng psalmist. I will sing praises unto my God while I have in any being. So, as long as we are alive, we ought to give praise to God. Uh, let me just read uh, Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22. And I'm sure you're familiar sa verses po na ito. The Bible says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So, one of the best phrases na napapakinggan natin, best songs na pinapakinggan natin, we praise God because of His faithfulness. But again, when Jeremiah wrote Lamentations, it Lamentations po ang pangalan niya for a reason because he was lamenting for the destruction of Jerusalem. So talagang if he looks around him, he sees destruction all around. Okay? But then, in spite of all that, he saw the Lord's mercies. He saw the compassion of God. Bakit? Because in spite of everything that happened, he was still alive. And meron pa rin yung mga survivors in that uh, uh, in that calamity in that destruction of Jerusalem Kaya ang sabi niya, they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness so the fact mga kapatid that we are alive this morning and we are able to join dito sa ating hope goes on i mean that is uh, an indication of the lord's mercies that is uh, an indication of the compassion of god and that shows the faithfulness of god sa atin okay uh because praising God, mga kapatid, is not just something that we do while we are alive. Uh, praising God is something that we are going to do in the future when we get to heaven. So it's not just uh, an earthly commitment. It's also an eternal commitment na gagawin natin. So kaya nga, uh, marami nagsasabi sa atin, especially yung mga pastors, that you know, when we are at church, let's go ahead and uh, sing songs for, the God, let, uh, for God. Let's do our best. Because uh, what we're doing here is practice for eternity. And there's truth to that. Diba? Because while we are worshiping God dito sa balat ng lupa, while we're alive, when we get to heaven, when we are in the presence of God and with our loved ones and with the Lord Jesus Christ and the other saints na nandun sa langit, we will continue to praise God. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 9, the Bible says, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by the blood of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So, uh, that's the call to praise, the challenge to praise na maikita natin in verse 1 and in verse 2. But uh, in verse 3 and in verse 4 ng Psalm 146, we will see here the caution in praise. There's a warning uh, when it comes to uh, praise. Because oftentimes, instead of praising God, maraming Kristiyano, even sometimes mga believers, is uh, yung praise nila napupunta sa tao instead na sa Panginoon. And in verse 3 and verse 4 of Psalm 146, the Bible says, Put not your trust in princes. P-R-I-N-C-E-S. So, talking about, you know, the people in uh, authority during those times. Basically, the people who run the government. So, nang sabi ng psalmist, Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. 
His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth, in that very day his thoughts perish. So the caution or the warning na binibigay po sa atin ng psalmist is that uh, we should not uh, put our trust on people because oftentimes, pag nakadepende tayo sa mga tao, ang nangyayari sa tao minsan is uh, sila yung nagiging sentro ng kanilang praise, ng kanilang worship instead of praising God. Uh, they end up praising the person or they end up praising people which is ag again mga kapatid it is contrary to the command that we should only worship God okay so there are those mga kapatid that uh, in the trend in our society nowadays most people they give praise to uh, politicians celebrities and athletes and I believe, mga kapatid, that uh, when it comes to uh, giving honor uh, sa mga tao na ito, of course, we give honor to them, uh, to whom it is due. Uh, but again, worship and praise only belongs to God. Okay? So that's the trend in uh, society nowadays. We give praise to politicians, celebrities. Pambira, pag nakita ng celebrities, eh, parang minsan hindi na makahinga. Di ba? <laughs> and oftentimes athletes all right but here's the truth mga kapatid the trend sometimes even inside the church is that uh, the praise uh, means that instead of going to god uh, it becomes centered sometimes doon sa preacher or doon sa pastor or even sometimes uh, yung nagiging uh, sentro na lang ng praise is again the the members again mga kapatid of course we appreciate uh what uh, this uh, men of God had done for us, the members of the church had done for us, uh, and we uh, thank them, we are grateful para sa kanila. Uh, but again, mga kapatid, the reminder there is that all praise belongs to God. Okay? And in uh, verse 3, sabi niyang ganyan, Put not your trust in prin princess, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. Um... Not necessarily na walang ibang tao na uh, pwedeng makatulong sa atin. Uh, but uh, I believe what the psalmist is telling us here, mga kapatid, is that in the end, uh, we can only depend on God. I mean, when it comes to our family, probably even when it comes to our church members, they have the willingness to help. They have the heart, the compassion to help us out. But in the end, they are limited just like us. So in the end, mga kapatid, is uh, hindi, rin sila, hindi rin nila maibibigay yung tulong na kailangan natin minsan. Only God can give us the help that we need. Kaya ang sabi ng psalmist, in whom there is no help. Oftentimes sa mga tao, they want to help. And sometimes ganun din tayo, we are willing to help. But in many occasions, we are limited. Okay? So in the end, we have to uh, uh, depend upon God. Uh, his breath goeth forth. Kaya nga sabi dun, uh, man is not only a powerless creature, man also is a passing creature. Sabi ng uh, psalmist, um, His breath goeth forth. He returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Again, that shows us the limitations of men. That, yes, they would be willing to help, but uh, sooner or later we are just you know, created beings na later on, uh, based on the will of God, kailangan nating uh, you know, we have to pass through death. Um, but that's our lifespan. Yun nga ang sabi ni James, that our lifespan is uh, uh, parang isang vapor lang. Okay? Now, let me just read Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 14. And We'll show here, mga kapatid, with the wisdom that Solomon has. And sabi niya ganyan, in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 14, uh, The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. So, yung uh, taong may wisdom, the wise man, I mean, he has a good direction in life. The fool walketh in darkness, no direction in life. And ang sabi ni Solomon, and I, perceive, and I myself perceived also that one event happeneth to them all. No, 
in spite if a person is walking in wisdom or probably he's a fool, there's one event that happens to all. Then said I in my heart, so verse 15, As it happeneth to the fool, so it happeneth even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart that this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever. Seeing that which is now, the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man? As the fool. So the event na binabanggit dito ni Solomon is none other than death. That it doesn't matter how you live your life. Uh, it will come to a point that we will also die. So that's why his conclusion was, while you are alive, you have to fear God. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So remember mga kapatid, the caution in praise is that we should not uh, redirect our praise on uh, men. We should not redirect our praise on others. We should only direct our praise on God because again, He is only worthy of all praise. And uh, let's go sa ating panghuli, the cause of praise. Ano ba yung rason kung bakit natin praise ang Panginoon? We praise Him because of who He is, basically. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at first of all in verse 6 ng Psalm 146. One of the reasons why we praise God, the cause of praise, is the greatness of God. I mean, basahin lang po natin, the Bible says, Which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is. Lahat po mga kapatid na nakikita natin sa paligid natin, yan po lahat ay linikha ng Panginoon. Alright? Uh, and because of that, He is worthy of all praise. He is the Creator, we are the creature. And our design is to praise God and to worship God. Okay? Uh, siya po ang naglikha ng lahat. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 16, the Bible says, uh, pertaining to the Lord Jesus Christ, For by Him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by Him and for Him, and He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. Notice mga kapatid, that basically if you just read, Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 and 17 the principle there is that without Christ there would be nothing kung wala pa si Cristo wala lahat so don't even go to a point of self pity na just because you don't have what other people have ay parang tingin mo sa sarili mo ay mas mababa na again if you have Christ you have everything and if you don't Christ, you have not. If you don't have Christ, you have nothing. In spite of whatever material possessions you have. Bakit? It is the Lord Jesus Christ who created everything. And the Bible says in Colossians 1.17, He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. You see, um, even scientists, one of the uh, dilemma or conundrums that uh, they've had in the past dec decade is that... Uh, Yes, we are all made up of atoms. We are all made up of uh, uh, of atoms na uh, basically all, uh, everything, ma uh, sabihin na nating, uh, uh, everything that's made of matter is uh, has atom. But the question is, what is it that keeps all these atoms connected to each other? Or what is it that... Uh, makes these atoms stick to each other. And again, mga kapatid, the answer there is that they have found this uh, uh, material that uh, makes everything stick together. And they don't know how to call it. And they just call it the God particle. Okay? Bakit? Because uh, they have nothing else to call it. And even science would prove Mga kapatid, that without that God particle, in spite of uh, whatever science says, we won't be able to exist. Okay? So, 
Kung titignan po natin mga kapatid, we praise God because of His greatness. He created all things. Also in Psalm 146, sabi niyang ganyan, which keepeth truth forever. Uh, and that is one of the proofs of the greatness of God. Na hindi lang niya linikha ang lahat, but He keeps truth forever. Ang ibig sabihin po niyan, mga kapatid, is not only does He preserve His word, because when we say truth, we're talking about the word, we're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. But when He keeps His word, when He keeps truth, it also means that He fulfills every promise written in His word. And Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18, ang sabi ng Bible that by two immutable things, unchangeable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie. So every promise po na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon, uh, He is going to fulfill it. Why? Because that is the character of God uh, when it comes to faithfulness. He is uh, absolute in faithfulness. Uh, when it comes to honesty, He is absolute in honesty. And there is, uh, sabi ng Bible, it's impossible for God to lie. Kaya ang sabi dan, we might have a strong consolation. This is our comfort for us believers who have fled for refuge. You see, when we, when we went to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, we, are fl uh, we fled for refuge sa Kanya. And when we did that, of course, uh, some of us, iniwan natin yung ating religion. Uh, some of us, we had to uh, do it in spite of the... Uh, uh, sabihin natin uh, pagpipigil ng uh, pamilya uh, but this is our consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us therefore mga kapatid in Christ we have hope and in the word of God we have hope so every time po na nakikinig tayo ng hope goes on uh, understand this uh, hindi po aksidente na nandyan yung salitang hope because our hope is built and founded in the Word of God. Okay? Um, so that's one of the reasons why we praise God. We also praise God because of His grace. Not only His greatness, also His grace. In Psalm 146, verse 7, the Bible says, Which executeth judgment for the oppressed. You see? God fights for the helpless. Which giveth food to the hungry. He feeds the hungry. Even nga yung sparrow that is uh, mentioned in uh, Matthew chapters in in the book of Matthew, uh, God feeds uh, ito mga animals na ito even for them without working, and the Bible says He feeds the hungry. Uh, the Lord looseth the prisoners; He lifts the broken. And oftentimes, uh, those people na. Uh, sometimes those who are in prison and akala natin that. You know, the society has rejected uh, when in fact they are still in need of the gospel. And praise God for those preachers who still go to these uh, prison houses, jail houses, preaching the word of God to them. Uh, sabi pa dyan, the Lord opened the eyes of the blind. Uh, he heals the blind. He frees the hostage. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. Okay. The Lord loves the righteous. He loves the believer. Okay, so no doubt na tayo po ay mahal ng Diyos. In fact, our salvation, our eternal security in Romans chapter 8 is uh, founded in the love of Christ. He saves God. He, uh, the Bible says in uh, verse 9, The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. He supports the suffering. Yun po ang ginagawa ng Panginoon. But the way of the wicked, he turneth upside down. Okay, He sentences the sinner. And that is a proof, mga kapatid, of uh, the grace of God. So understand that uh, not only do we praise God because of His greatness, but also for His grace. And para, sa, para po sa ating mga believers, uh, when it comes to talking about grace, tayo po yung unang-unang nakakaintindi dapat ng salitang biyaya. Because salvation that we have is by grace through faith. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. 
And of course, lastly mga kapatid, uh, we praise God, the cause of praise. It's not only because of His greatness, His grace, but notice the glory of God. In Psalm 146 verse 10, the Bible says, The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. So the psalmist started with the, phrase, with the phrase, Praise ye the Lord, and he ends with the statement, Praise ye the Lord. In Psalm 146 verse 10, The Lord shall reign forever. See mga kapatid, God is eternal and will remain God forever. He will remain graceful. He will remain, uh, he will remain great. Uh, his attributes will remain forever. Therefore, forever, He deserves all the praise. So, uh, mga kapatid, um, para po sa ating mga Kristiyano, let's not only worship God or praise God pagpunta natin ng Sunday sa church, uh, but uh, in fact, in every day of our life, let us continue to praise God.